In this video, I'm going to show you a very quick trick on how to export a Microsoft whiteboard into an SVG file. Now, the difference between regular exporting of the Microsoft whiteboard to a PNG file and exporting it out to an SVG file is that an SVG file scales. So if I need to share this out to a website or if I want to print something from the Microsoft whiteboard onto a larger sheet of paper, then I definitely don't want to get that blurring that can occur when you scale a PNG file. But it's not so easy. There's a little bit of a trick to it and I'll show you in this video where to find the option to export your Microsoft whiteboard to an SVG file instead of a PNG file. Let's start by going into the whiteboard and I'll just go in and grab a template and we'll grab maybe a Kanban board. So here I have a Kanban board. Maybe I've got a backlog in here and I'll just make this task number one. So typical Kanban board, typical graphic that I might have on a whiteboard. And what's interesting here is that if I go into the menu when I'm opened the web whiteboard application, you'll notice that if I go to the export, I actually get two values. What's interesting here is that I only get the high quality SVG file if I'm in the whiteboard and if I go export. So I'm going to export this and I'm going to put this on my desktop. I'll just call it Kanban and we'll call it SVG, although it will be that file type here, but that'll just help me find it by name. So I've saved it. If I go out and I go in here to the whiteboard here and I want to export it, so I'll do an export here, you'll notice that I do not get the option of putting that to an SVG file. It only allows me to export that out as a PNG file. But I do have that, and actually let's do that. So I'll go in here and I will export it and we'll grab this as the PNG file. So I'll just call this Kanban PNG file. Again, so I, just so I can recognize the difference between the two by name. Now, why does this make a difference? Well, if I go into my Kanban PNG file, so I'll just open up this file and I'll just open it up with Microsoft Edge. So we'll open it up with the browser. You can see I have the Kanban board and let's start going into here. And the, you know, if I start going in and I'll start scaling this up and you'll start, you're probably noticing it already that it's getting a little bit fuzzy, right? So it's getting a little bit fuzzy. I'll, I'll go even further in. So I'll go way in and you can see that my text here is a little bit fuzzy and I'm now not able to scale in. And that's because of the PNG file uses pixels in order to create the image. If I go in instead to my Kanban SVG file, so we'll go ahead and we'll open this one up, just give it a double click. We'll open this up, it opened up automatically in Edge here. So you can see I have the PNG file, we're zoomed in and it's all fuzzy. And I go to the SVG file, and if I start scaling in on here, so let's start scaling in quite a bit. I'm going to go really far in here. So I'm going to scale this image and notice it's nice and crisp and clean. So if you're using your whiteboards and you need to export them out to a web page, you need to share them out, or if you want to take them out to be printed on a large sheet of paper, you definitely want to know that you can export them through the SVG, but only if you actually go into the whiteboard and then you'll be given the option to export to SVG. Thanks for watching. I hope that trick was helpful and the new Microsoft whiteboard's coming out soon, so stay tuned for videos on that.